So, over the last few weeks, I haven't been able to do any videos on the real AIX. Not a few weeks, just maybe a few days. It's kind of odd that um, on every computer I try this on, it crashes. I can change and do a video on another, you know, channel, and it works. And then it brings me to this weird thought. It's like, a, what if they know what I'm going to say? So they prevent me from saying it. And then I'm saying to myself, how could this be? And then you think of all kind of different scenarios and philosophies and different uh, formulas that could give them the upper hand on what a person is going to do. So how could they tell the future? First of all, they, who are they? They are the the uh, invisible society. They are the puppeteers. They are the people who actually control us. They. You know, the, they always mess with us. Yeah. Not the ones that say you people, but they. Yeah, the mysterious ones. Yeah. The ones we always know. You know, they always mess with us. They're coming. Dark in here, huh? Can't see me, huh? What if it's someone trying to be me? The camera normally don't shake this much. You understand? What if it's not me? What if they have got someone else speaking because they know that I'm going to do something soon? I'm going to say something soon. I'm going to put on a spectacle of some sort. They have to stop it. I have been trying to upload the first episode of Being AIX. It's a series of nine. It'll be the final series of videos that I do. And then everything else will be remixes or whatever. And you see me at No Man Need Die while I'm losing my mind. Haven't been to Broke Man Studio. The studio is broken down. There's nothing. There's no music equipment plugged up. I met a guitar player the other day. Old cat. You know I like him rustic. And this guy looks like he can play some guitar. But I don't know what kind of guitar he plays. So you know me being the artist I am. If I got somebody playing rock, I'll do some rock type stuff. If I got somebody playing jazz, I'll do some jazz. If I got somebody playing some acoustic melody type stuff, I guess I'll be going folk on your asses. So you're probably wondering why my hair is all combed out like Frederick fucking Douglass. But that don't matter. Don't matter at all. How my hair do is going to do, because it's going to do what it do when it's done doing the deed it needs to be done. Why am I speaking in riddles? I'm, so, I'm sort of ticked off. Turn on the news, it's kids shooting kids. You know. Watch some videos, and I, this is why I think that they know that I'm going to do something. I watched a series of videos the other day about, you know, I watched some Alex Jones stuff too, and um, I watched some Ron Paul stuff, and um, I watched some Barack Obama stuff. Then I watched some of my old stuff from four years ago. Some of the questions I raised. And then I said to myself, 
Remember? You told them to vote for you. Then I was having a loud conversation with a friend of mine the other day. Then I looked up my family crest. Then I was pissed off because it came from Ireland. I thought it was from somewhere else. Like Switzerland. So coming to the grips that I'm Irish. So I wanted to find out who the hell is these people that would bought my family when they got here and brought us over here and changed us into the Hey Dones. And then I thought, how in the fuck can somebody find their identity when they were given somebody else's? And then I had another thought that came through my mind. When I first moved up here, the Eritreans didn't like the blacks. The blacks wouldn't hang with the Eritreans. And he reached her and said, you're muggles, you're dogs. You mixed with white men. Then I flashed back into reality. And then I flashed to an alternate reality. Where the Indians were a mighty nation. And they told everybody, get the fuck out. All the blacks had to go back to Africa. All the whites had to go back to England. All the Spaniards had to go back to Spain. All the Asians was cool so they could stay because they didn't fuck with nobody. And when all the black people got back to Africa, the Africans there was like, we don't need your hip. What are you? You're not my brother. And then these other men was like, we can do this. And in Africa was like a bad motherfucker. It was like big and shit. All the black people was in Africa. All the Arab people was in Arab. And all the other people was in other bill. And nobody fucked with nobody. And then... I came back to the real reality. If everybody had to go back to where the fuck they came from, nobody would go anywhere because no one knows where they're originally from. If you knew where the fuck you were from, you'd know who you are. We wouldn't be all assimilated, created, redistributed, and made into other people's images. God made us in his image. They make us in their image. Then I bring you to your reality. What is God? Where is that true power from? Who truly controls you? They're talking about the government riding on people, tearing up shit, enslaving people, fucking with people again, history repeating itself. You got Alex Smith saying this, you got this person saying that, and they want you to do, they want to be taken serious, and then they bring in Charlie Sheen. What is it? We're all tied to a faith. We can't see. We believe in an entity controlling us. We also believe we're not alone, but we're also so much left alone. We've been taught not to give a damn about each other. We've been taught not to befriend each other. We've been taught not to expect to respect, getting any respect from each other. We have been recreated in some false God's image. Why is my hair all shaped like Frederick Douglass? 
What am I going to say? There is no moral to the story because we have no morals. I'm telling you the truth. The United States of America and the people in it no longer have any morals. We live in a, in a perpetual blame game. We've been programmed to blame those who have, those who have, have blamed those who don't have. Can't share with anybody because they're just going to take it. They're going to take your stuff. Can't be nice to people. They take your kindness as weakness and twist it against you. He's just going to give me some more food. We're going to go over here. We can stay there, Betty. Come on, let's just do it, babe. What is family? Hmm. Family is an anomaly. The family unit was destroyed a long time ago. You know what makes a good family? Let me tell you the essence of a real family. Financial stability is a real family. When your granddaughter is going to college, when your great grandson, who's not born yet, already owns a home. We are in a time where those who have are in a perpetual land grab to assure that the have nots stay not having. And you wonder why my hair is shaped like Frederick Douglass? I once told a friend of mine just recently, I'm going to put on this uniform and stand in this museum and make a speech. He says, man, don't do it. I'm like, I can do this. Man, we got the video cameras together. Went to the place. I second guess myself. I said, this is the point of no return. Once I go there, I can never come back. And you wonder why. I wonder how they know if I'm going to say something or not. It's because when I do, it don't show up. When I try, it's all brushed over. When I slip in, they got to make adjustments. What I'm really trying to say is this. You don't control yourself. You don't control your urges. You don't know who the fuck you are. You want and you need, and you have to have, then that means you're not free. I want and I need, and I have to have. I am not free. When you walk into a store, and you say, I'm going to have a that, that, and the other. If you have to question how much money you have in your wallet to pay for this, that, and the other, you are not free. They got the, oh, I'm finna fuck with you.
They got that uh, three credit scores. Check out them three credit scores. Now, did you ask for a credit score? What is a credit score? Who told you that you have to have credit in order to survive and function in the United States of America? Who told you that you had a credit score number? Oh, there's three different credit scores from three different crediting whatever the hell they are. I didn't ask to sign up with this one, that one, or the other one. Who are these people giving you a score on how you live your life? Who put you on a scorecard? You ain't free. Do you get free meals delivered to your house? You ain't free. And didn't your mama ever tell you, ain't is not a word? Who told you what your language was? Who programmed you? What was your mama's real name? You ain't free. So why is my hair shaped like Frederick Douglass? The same reason you don't know who you are. Same reason that you decide that you have to get up and go to work to pay for water. You go out to the park and pay to go see the park. You go out to spend time with your family and pay to buy their attentions. You get up every morning to go do what someone else told you you have to do to provide for your family the only way you know how. You ain't free. How come you didn't learn another way? How come they didn't give you the way they got it? Man once told me, I can get it cheap, but I can't give it to you like I can get it. And I once told that motherfucker, don't expect to get it like I get it when you don't give it like you get it. Nothing in life is free. So what makes you think you are? It is a false sense of freedom. I told a friend, we need to be in a world where I want to go work at a power plant. I can go do it. You can't just get up and walk, say, I want to come to work here, train me. Everybody needs something. Everybody needs something to do. But somebody wants to charge you for it. You ain't free. If you wanted to be a lawyer, you got to pay to go to school to learn to speak the law, which you was born and bound by from the day you skeeted at your mamas. You ain't free. So, in the big crux of the big picture, what do we do? We couldn't live in a world where everything was free because nobody would work. That is a lie. If somebody likes to teach people, they're going to go teach. 
if somebody wants to learn how to fly a plane, they're going to fly people. That's, I love flying. I'm going to fly here. I'm flying everybody everywhere. People will function in the world with everything provided by people because people need things. And the problem is somebody wants to sell it to you when they get it for free. How can you sell a tree and you got the tree for free? You own the land, you grow the tree, you sell the tree. Nobody owns the land. Do you fucking honestly think there was somebody flying around a spaceship saying, I want the blue one. Give me the blue one. We looked at the red one. It was dusty. I want the blue one with the wet stuff on. I want the blue one. And it came and bought the planet Earth. And then they decided, okay, let's rent it out. If everything was, and what is, it is, then why is it not what it is? It's here. It's solid. It's ours. It's not yours to give or theirs to give. It is here. It was here before we were here. We are the cancer on this planet, not the planet being a cancer on us. Oh, the planet is dying. Fuck it. When it dies, they will leave. We will remain. That's how it's worked. That's how it's worked throughout the history of time. There's a great event happen. They leave. Whoever survived gets re-enslaved, bullshitted, and lied to, and the circus flips over and over. Just another town, another night. Unpack the wagons. We'll be here a while. They don't know we exist because they are not free. And we wish we were them. So why is my hair parted like Frederick Douglass? Can you imagine living in a time where you are free? And the person who looks like you is not free. It's called prison, fools. We live in a time where thousands and thousands of people are locked up, incarcerated like the pets we have. For nothing? No, that's so someone else can prove a point. How can you divide and conquer a people? Shit, put the brown ones over there. Put the blue ones over there. Put the purple ones over there. Put the red ones over there. Put the green ones over there. And tell each one of them that the other one took 15 cents of nothing from them. Show each one of them that the other one is worth more than them. Yeah. We're not belittled on this place. We're upheld and praised. Throughout the course of history, they always destroy what they don't understand. They idolize what they destroy. So black man, don't be what you're stereotypically taught to be. Be what they idolize in you. The essence of them. Stolen by them. Because if you were created in God's image, white, black, or other, why would you sit back and allow any of your children to suffer? We are not free. So, as a child of God, I don't wish none of you suffer. Not you, nor them. You too can be free. 
Take the chains off. Undo the binds. Stop wanting to put your foot in somebody else's ass. Stop trying to be vindictive. And one last thing. If I was to create a book, and this book lasts for thousands and thousands of years, and millions of people worship the words on the book of Zoe, when you burn my book, I don't want my people to rise up and kill people. I want you to make a million more copies of my books and a million more languages. So when you burn my book, there's a thousand more. Words on a page mean nothing. Pages can be torn. Words washed away. Wisdom and knowledge is from within you. So nothing you can ever read will ever fade away. No words written on any page can ever die. If the meanings of the books mean so much you're willing to kill for, then let other people know the words like you know them. Because every time you kill somebody, that's one less person you can teach the words from the same book you think you protected. So when they burn the book of Zoe, I want my people to print a thousand more. But if there's any kind of words inside somebody's soul or heart, no damage a piece of fire can do. No image can be destroyed. You don't have to kill people to protect words because the words will always live inside you. That's the ignorance of mankind. I understand I'm saying some shit that people would kill me for. But for what? Why? The essence of being free is to give that freedom to somebody else. The power to be strong is to uplift those who hold you down. You know what I mean? They hold you down. Release these motherfuckers. Release them. Let it go. Oh, you're holding me down. Well, when you come down here, I'm going to pick you up. So when you remember where you was when you was down and out, you will help those who helped you. There was a group of people in a boat that came across the sea. And these people saw them starving in a damn wilderness. And these people nursed these people back. And in return, this is what they got. We have been retrained, rebuilt, not in our God's image, but in their image. Whoever they may be, they have won. And that's it. They own you. You are not free. So when you go vote, don't vote for a millionaire. Vote for none of the above. So until we are truly set free, until people say, no one will work if we lived in a free society. If you have the passion of music, you'll teach music. If you have the passion of knowledge, you'll teach knowledge. If you want to learn how to farm, you'll farm and you'll do farming. 
in a world and society where you do what you like to do, everybody benefits from it. If you want to play football, you can play football. You ain't got to be just the ones picked. The certain ones. The image driven. The ones that know what to do and how to do it and when to do it and what way to do it and what to do and how to do things like this and shit like that. And, you know, everybody has got their own images. People are people. And in a world where everybody's doing for somebody else, everybody is free. You know, even when you write my name down, look at, write the three letters down, use capitals, look at, you put the one in the top, you take the one in the middle sideways, you put the other one like that, look at it. Everybody's got it like that. So if you don't understand, then you'll never understand. Then all you do is wonder. I can't teach you, but I always wonder. How could they know what I'm going to say before I say it? How do they stop me before I always say what I say? Maybe it's the internet. Maybe radio waves circle the planet so many times that they overlap throughout time. We don't know. Well, if we're getting radio frequency from the future, and they heard me say something. We don't know. We don't know how they know what we're going to do. All we know is they stop us from doing it. They don't stop us sometime. They stop us all the time. So do me a favor. Don't stop yourself. Let them do it. If altering your life means that much for a group of people so they can fucking survive, let them do it. Because you're not going to try to stop them. So you might as well let them do it. You know what they say about humans? They have a soul and a heart and a drive. Never give up. Human beings fight till the end. And each time, every movie, every scene, we fight until the end. Don't you think? Is that what you think? We never make it to the end. We don't know what the end looks like. But we're told we fight until the end. But you might as well give up. Go watch a Lady Gaga video. You know, go to the mall, get your Cinnabon or something. Go buy a new video game where you can fly spaceships out there and fight aliens that you really don't know why you're fighting them. You know? Let's go ahead and stay on that alternate reality course where. We'll continue to live for the sole purpose of consuming things we want. 
and urges. Oh, wow, I like to flip out and do a bunch of methamphetamine today and snort a bunch of cocaine and go party for, you know. Oh, let me go out and have sex with a bunch of women and let me go have sex with a bunch of men. Let me go throw my inhibitions out the window. We live in a world of needs. Everybody needs a fix. Yeah, I mentioned drugs because poor people. Poor people get high to cope with society. That's it. People get high to cope. It ain't because they're addicted to a damn thing. Oh, I'm so high. I screwed up. I'm a junkie. It's not that. It's a coping mechanism. Life is so messed up that people got to get high to cope with it. You have to self-medicate your brain just to deal with the bullshit. And then they got this thing called the television. The first thing that treated you like you can, I can be like someone else. I can do that. And then they have sitcoms and, you know, everyone is acting like that's what they see. Mimicry. Why in the hell, knowing that humans' minds are programmed like this, you teach them to mimic dumb shit? You know, same thing with perpetual music. The music stuns the brain. Then you're singing the music. Then you're acting like the music. Then you're a nigga and you're a bitch. Suck a dick, bitch, nigga. Where's the logic in that? You know, little white kids going around calling themselves nigga and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? These little niggas are crazy. And I told somebody the other day, it pissed me off. You got black people who call each other, hey man, y'all niggas is tripping and shit. I'm sorry, black folks, for even saying that shit. But the word nigga to me now means nigger. Because it's the slang word for nigger. So that's like I said, I want some fries. It's the French fries. Fries is a slang word for French fries. It's the same fucking word. I'm just tired of it. Black people get mad when white people say it. Oh. But they got to be your white friend. That's another form of racism. Black dudes with white friends. Your white friend say nigga. Somebody else's white friend say nigga. You going to beat that motherfucker. Your white friend like that motherfucker said nigga. All from being taught, trained, and reprogrammed. By them. But how do they know? I'm going to say something before I say it. Because like every other evil mastermind. I'll sit there and have a big old 40 minute speech about it. And then I'll do it. This has been 40 minutes. And you know what? <laughs> You've been too. I wonder if they figured that one out. Refresh. Another stereotype drink. Brothers like that watermelon drink. Strawberry. Rosebud. Stay safe, stay free. Listen, 
The message is always in the middle of the video. You just got to decipher it for yourself. If I offended somebody, I'm apologizing right now. But that's just too bad. Some people are going to say things that you don't want to hear in life. But we need to, as a people, understand whoever told you how to speak also taught you how to listen.